Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 164 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. And today is we're going to finish up the three-part series on multi-views with looking at a little bit at styling and how to change a view look based on a class that we're spitting out with some JavaScript. Before we get into all that, uh, I'm going to do a little housekeeping things. Of course, make sure to check out CodeKarate.com and the ebook there. Um, been going really well, been out a little over a month now, had a lot of success. Um, if you have purchased in the past, let us know what your thoughts are. If you haven't purchased, appreciate it if you did, and let us know what your thoughts are. Also, a few other things, you can always follow us, Shane and I, on Twitter, um, at Adam Laring and at SMThomas3. Um, Shane would be a better follow there. He actually posts more stuff than I do, so check that out. Um, other than that, let's get down to the video and showing you again a little bit about how to style um, the view based on a class that you're dynamically putting out. So to get started, let's hop over to my previous example of what we're actually trying to pull off. If you look at part one, you'd see this, um, but what we're trying to do is, depending on if we have a list or a table view selected, we want to display different content. Or I shouldn't say that different kind of. It's the same content, just displayed differently. So if I pull up my code here real quick, you'll be able to see that when I switch between... Just a second, it's loading. There we go. All right. So as it's loading here... I'm just going to pull up quick so you can see that we have a list, or a, excuse me, a class changing when we click. So you see right now we're on grid view, we switch it, it sits over to list view. And when we do that, we're calling different CSS, which is changing the look of the view. Even though it's still displaying the same content from the same view, it looks a lot differently based on, on this class. So that's what we're going to accomplish here in part three. So if you are familiar, we left off part two with being able to just switch the classes from table to list and I've actually already added a little bit of CSS that shows kind of what we want to cover in the in the um, video but I'm going to take that CSS off real quick and we'll add it back in once I show you what we're trying to accomplish alright so if I refresh this page you'll be able to see kind of where we left off video two or part two, excuse me, and then we'll show you what to change on or what I'm changing on part three. So if we search here, if you look right here, it says grid view. So that's on when the table is selected, we're in a grid. But we want to say, say we want to switch to list. We switch it over to list. This changes to list. And we can change back and forth. But obviously by switching the view or nothing is changing. So that's what we're going to accomplish is by clicking one of these, we're going to change the look and feel of this view. So I'm going to add this uh, CSS back in, and I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going, what's going on here, and then I'll show you what exactly is happening. So in the first view, I'm saying grid view. If it's, well, I got an update here. Close that out. Um, so when you have a grid view, winning grid view, use rows, rows view. We're going to float them together and making a grid. So they're going to be 20%. Two and a half margin on each of the left and right side, and we're going to float them, so bring that views row up. And then on list view, we're just going to take this the picture, and we're going to hide it. So you'll be able to see how this changes pretty easily. So again, if I just save my style sheet here real quick. And I'm using, you might see, wonder why I'm going over to my FTP client. Um, that's because I'm just using it on a local side, and I don't... Um, I'm not directly working on the server. Um, let's see here, where the heck? There we go. All right. So anyway, let's refresh this page. You'll start to see some stuff try to change, which is hopefully what we want. And there we go. So now we we're using a grid view here. So we're floating them up. So each of these are 20% with a two and a half margin on each and left right side. And then when I click over to list view, the picture no longer is getting displayed. If I click back to table, my picture is back. So it almost looks like I'm using two different views here to display the content, but it's really only one view again. Pull up, I can pull up that view for you here too. 
um, once that loads here. But again, just same same content. You know, Steve Young, 74 inch height, 250 pounds. Same information, just getting displayed in a different way. Nice use case for this is on a for people that are on a mobile uh, browser or using a tablet. Sometimes it's easier for them to digest on a grid view or versus a list view. It's kind of up to them, but at least you give them options. Again, just to take a quick peek at the view that's running all this. Here you see all the fields that I'm using, uh, picture title, height, weight, and body, and I'm just rewriting it in a custom text field with views. If you need information on how to do this, check out part one. I, like, I'll lay out how to do all this. But again, I'm just spitting out the fields using um, the replacement patterns below, and then um, using the, obviously, the CSS to display it differently. But again, it's the same view, running out the same thing, I'm just hiding and showing based on my CSS class via jQuery. So that's the uh, video. I wanted to keep it short. It, I don't want to spend a ton of time styling because styling is obviously going to be up to you and what you want to do. But the general idea is to get your styling to work, all you need to do is use the list grid view class and the list view class. And then inside that, you can do whatever you'd like um, to change um, the look and feel of the view. All right, if you guys have any other questions like further how to style or anything like that, make sure to ask. I can help you out there. Um, also, if any other questions relating to part one or part two, make sure to shoot them over um, to us at Code Karate. All right, guys, well, that is going to conclude the video for today. If you have any questions, again, make sure to let us know. Otherwise, have a good one. Bye.